Hey guys, I'm celebrity and editorial makeup artist Katie Jane Hughes and we are here at Bloomingdale's Studio 59 and I'm going to create a daytime sexy kind of stunning eye on Camila and I'm going to transition it into nighttime, show you how to go from the office to wherever it might be that you're going. Just keep watching. The common thread between this whole look that I'm going to do on Camila is using Fix Plus to wet powders. So this is an essential in my makeup bag and my kit because I can use this to wet any eyeshadow or any powder blush, turn it into a cream, it allows you to put it on really sort of fluidly and then blend it out for a really gorgeous all day wear, as well as you just get so much more playfulness and flexibility out of your product. Watch. Okay, so I've created this really gorgeous molten textured cream eyeshadow. And I have a clean brush in one hand and my primed brush in the other. And I'm just gonna pop it right on the lid and create this gorgeous copper daytime eye. I'm pressing it on. And my clean brush blending the edges. And the Fix Plus from MAC is a setting spray, so it actually will make this last all day long. The trick is, is not to overhydrate under the eyeshadow. And the beautiful thing about it, because you wet the powder, it actually makes the shadow look more wet and uh, allows you to really glide it onto the skin. And if you want, you can pick up a little bit of powder from the dry corner and deposit more for more build. And then for my other eye, I'm gonna spray again because you just wanna make sure that the consistency is the same for both eyes as they both need to look equally perfect. So you can see that like texture and it just kind of paints. See that it just keeps going and going. You really can just slap it on, literally. You can just pop it on the eye. From the outer corner, you wanna work your way into the middle and from the inner corner, work your way to the middle as opposed to working your way always in one direction. When you blend, you just want to press softly. You don't want to press too hard. Everything should be blended quite gently so that you don't pull the skin around and that you don't create folds in the skin as you're blending, because if your skin folds as you're blending, you'll probably get those folds in the makeup itself. Okay, so now I'm depositing a bit more pigment before doing mascara. And then this would actually be a really beautiful thing to wear all by itself with just a nude lip, or you could throw on a red lip if you felt like it to make it whole different kind of mood. So a bit of mascara, this is Climax from NARS. I love this mascara because it just gives you that like natural lash look, but then you can build it for the nighttime. Little final touch on this eye, I'm gonna use the brightest gold color from this palette and I'm just gonna pop it in the inner corner to keep it really alive and awake bright in there and it provides a nice transition into this coppery rose ta-da so this should take you no more than 60 seconds from start to finish now we're going to take it into a nighttime kind of vibe in 60 seconds so i've got my fix plus from mac got my black cake eyeliner this is from suva i'm going to throw a black liner on and we're going to take it up a notch so i've got a wing liner brush from sigma and i've sprayed my cake liner i'm creating a paste and now this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite ways to work with eyeliner because you're in complete control of this consistency. I'm gonna use my brush back and forth on the back of my hand until I get more of a solid consistency that's just painting like a liner would. So I think it's the best way to just stamp it down onto the skin. And just pull lightly as every time you make a little impression of color. Etching this on, creating my wing shape, and then stay close. While it's drying, I like to take a little flat brush like this, and I just take under the liner itself to just sharpen it up a little bit. So every time your formula starts to dry on the back of your hand, you just spray it again. And eyeliner is always a bit of a dance. You always want to kind of bounce back and forth from side to side. Same with mascara because you're actually letting the layers of mascara dry between each coat that you put. 
The wetter the eyeliner is, the longer you might have to wait to let it dry, but usually that means it lasts longer. So now that the eye's open, I'm just gonna add a little bit more where I need to, where it might have gone in on itself, because a lot of eyes decide to kind of swallow the color sometimes, depending on where the fold is. So that's why you open your eyes at a certain point of the liner process. Then finally, before you go out, you wanna pop on a little bit more mascara. This is Climax from NARS. This is me just putting it on like a makeup artist would. You literally would just go like this on yourself. But if you're a makeup artist, this is the best trick ever because your thumb becomes a barrier and it allows you not to get it on your lid. If you are not a makeup artist and you get it on your lid, look down into a mirror, it changes the position of your lashes so that they literally can't touch the top. If they do, then you've probably got freakishly long lashes and I'm jealous. Thanks for watching. Tune in to see more beauty tutorials from your favorite beauty experts at Bloomingdale's Studio 59. I'll be back, that's for sure.